Hi, I'm Lucy Krueger. I am a 3D Specialist 2 for Browseware North America support team. And I've been working with Browseware for four years. My background is in tech design and fashion design. Today, I'll be sharing with you tips on testing fit and style variations using replace piece and clone with stitches. I'm excited to share these two functions because I see a lot of people start from scratch when they need to update their files when instead they could use these two functions to quickly update their already created 3D styles. Let's see how it's done. The first one I want to start off with is the replace piece function. So maybe you're working with a pattern maker that works in another software and you might be sending them some requests for updating the pattern. So then they'll send you back a DXF and then you have to update your garment and you don't want to have to restitch everything again. So here is what we can do. What we can do instead is we can replace the pieces so that the piece that's in simulation is the same pattern shape as the new updated piece that we requested. So there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you my favorite way, and that is importing the DXF into my file. So I'll start off by using File Import. I'll select my DXF and I'll merge it into the existing garment. Another fun detail I didn't mention is that this also works for updating your grading. So any edge grading that you have here, we can see that this is a graded piece that I've imported and that grading will pass to those pieces when we do this action. So the next thing I'll do once these have imported is I'm going to turn off using 3D because these pieces don't have any fabric on them and we don't want to be using pieces in 3D that have no fabric applied. Next, just to make this a little bit easier to see, I'm going to rearrange these pieces. Um, we just want to be sure that they're going in the same orientation before we use replace piece. Next, to actually replace the pieces, we'll just click on one piece, hold shift, click on its replacement piece. Then under the 2D tab, we'll use the drop down here, replace pieces between two selected. And you can see that in 3D, our pattern shapes have already started to change. We'll do the same thing here. Hold Shift, click here. You can also right click, replace between pieces. So now my back and my front are ready to be replaced. So what I'll do is just press Update in 3D. I always like to have my auto lock function on so that my nice collar I draped in my sleeves were keeping the same drape. So I'll go ahead and just clear that let everything interact together, and we can see that this dress is now a lot more fitted and a lot closer to what I was looking for. Next, I want to show you what I like to do when I want to create variations of a style. So in this dress, maybe I want a knee length version and I want to have a midi version. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'll save myself a snapshot, and this will be my midi length version. Then what I'll do is I'm going to select these pieces that are my body, and I'll right click and use clone with stitches. Now I have a duplicate of my body. Then I'll go back to my original pieces, select those and uncheck use in 3D. Now looking in 3D, we can see these pieces are already arranged. We can see they are stitched. And because I had my auto lock feature on, the sleeves and the collar are locked in place to maintain that nice collar drape that I already had. So we'll go ahead and dress. Since these were locked, I like to clear my styling and let everything interact together. So now I have a second version of my dress to work with. I'll select my hem and then with my slide option on, Let's reduce it by 12 inches. I'll update 3D. And then I can save myself a new snapshot. So now I have two versions of this garment in my file, a knee length and a midi length. This way of working also keeps the history of the pattern in the same file for reference. I hope you can see the benefits of these tools and I hope you consider incorporating them into your workflow.